Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I'm a Sony Imaging Ambassador. Perhaps one of the best photographic purchases I've made in recent years to complement my high-end Sony cameras and G Master lenses is a BenQ Color Accurate Monitor. Uh, the journey started a couple of years ago when I took delivery of an SW271. That's their 27-inch uh, 4K Color Accurate Monitor. And I've really enjoyed being able to have a, a large display on my desk with which to edit my high resolution images. So many photographers shortchange themselves by investing in great cameras, great lenses, but then editing on a HD a smaller screen or maybe even a laptop screen. And they're not really seeing the full potential of their cameras uh, by doing that particular workflow. So uh, as you can see from this particular monitor, this is their new 32-inch uh, SW321C monitor. It's currently hooked up to my MacBook Pro via a single USB-C cable. Now it's actually taking power from that cable, so I don't need to connect the uh, laptop to a separate power display. I can come straight back from a shoot, just put in a simple single USB-C cable, and I'm up and running with this large 4K. 32 inch monitor. Now if I don't want to work with two uh, screens open at the same time I can just simply close my laptop screen. The monitor will momentarily go asleep but as soon as I touch a mouse or a keyboard it wakes up and is ready for action. So I'll just move that uh, MacBook Pro out of the way and bring in my separate uh, wireless keyboard and uh, mouse here. Now, uh, as I said, I took delivery of a uh, SW271, their 27 inch color accurate monitor a couple of years ago, and it, it was one of my most, most significant purchases. Um, I had been using Apple displays previously, but it was such a, a great uh, move forward for me as a working photographer. Um, the color um, uh, uh, shade here will help if your workflow is compromised uh, by stray lights, but their, um, their surface of their monitors is not reflective at all. I've got a light source just off to one side lighting me and there is zero impact of that light source uh, on the reflections of this monitor. It does have a very um, uh, broad field of view so you can have two or three people uh, working on a project together and, um, and uh, all getting a clear accurate view of the images on that screen. Now it is a higher bit depth monitor. The SW321 was 14 bit, but the uh, the new um, 32 inch monitor is a 16 bit monitor. And what that means is uh, most people editing on standard grade monitors are 8 bit monitors. If you can imagine if you're a raw shooter trying to edit a JPEG aggressively and realizing you're gonna break apart your smooth transition of tone or color, that is exactly what's gonna happen with a low bit depth monitor when you try and calibrate that monitor. Now the BenQ Color Accurate monitors come pretty much a bang on color accurate straight out of the box, but you could also invest in a, um, a something like an X-Rite um, i1 Display Pro if you want that absolute 100% um, accuracy that you're gonna get from one of those calibration devices. Now, as well as the 16-bit uh, uh, color uh, bit depth here, you've got hardware calibration. So you can uh, plug in different uh, laptops and the, the calibration stays with the monitor. It doesn't uh, reside on your computer. You've got high dynamic range if you're trying to connect a Blu-ray um, uh, player or you've got um, a blue, um, high HDR output from your computer, you could edit uh, HDR uh, movie clips uh, using this monitor as well. As I said, you've got that USB-C port for power delivery and connection for your um, uh, latest uh, uh, laptops. And you've also got that shading hood. That shading hood only takes a couple of minutes to attach and remove. So that is gonna be no problem if you don't want to work with that. It's uh, fully tiltable and uh, swivel and you can also raise the height and lower the height so it suits your particular um, uh, desktop that you're working with. So um, very good flexible monitor to work with. I'll just go through a couple of the uh, features here. Now, you don't have to take my word for the fact that this monitor is great. It actually won the monitor of the year at the TIPA Awards in 2020. And um, 
uh, you've got that color accuracy straight out of the box if you don't want to bo bother with uh, monitor calibration profiling devices. Now one of the big advantages for me as a working photographer is that extra um, wide color gamut that these monitors have. Now a standard monitor is lucky to make the sRGB color gamut but the Adobe RGB color gamut is so much uh, bigger. Now um, it is uh, significantly bigger in fact and what this uh, means for a working photographer is if you're working uh, not only to screen but also to press you've got all of the colors that is typically contained by an sRGB monitor but you've also got all of the colors contained by the CMYK printing spaces so what I've got there is I've got a printing profile sitting comfortably inside of that Adobe RGB color gamut in that diagram on the right there but you can see uh, there's a lot of colors that are reproducible by the CMYK space that we simply can't see in all of their detail on a standard sRGB be color gamut monitor. Now a lot of um, photographers take pride in making sure that they don't lose information in their brightest highlights and darkest shadows when capturing and also editing their files. But if you're working with an sRGB um, color monitor then you are going to be trying to work with colors that are basically out of gamut of the monitor that you're actually working with. So here I've clipped the highlights and I wouldn't uh, uh, dream of uh, clipping highlights information if I was editing this picture of a motorcycle you can see in the red overlay here I've clipped the highlight detail both on that petrol tank and also in the white leathers. Similarly uh, I wouldn't uh, want to be able to clip the color gamut that I'm working with. In this red overlay now if I just go back and you can see the red and uh, sorry the orange and blue leathers there if I'm working on a standard sRGB color gamut monitor I'm going to lose detail in those areas they're going to basically become flat color because those colors are out of ga gamut of that sRGB monitor. So you can see on many of these images here all of those colors are out of the reach of a standard sRGB monitor and that um, not only is for motorsports but also for portraiture and also for landscapes as well. So you can see all of these colors I'm, if I was editing this on a standard sRGB monitor I'm not going to be able to see the detail that the camera is actually uh, actually capturing there and you can see the uh, sky on this particular one going out of gamut. What this can lead to on a calibrated sRGB monitor is we can get stepping inside of uh, clean transitions of tone and or color when those colors go out of gamut of that monitor. So if you uh, do value um, um, not only the, uh, the, the cameras and lenses I think it's uh, worthy to also invest in a monitor where you can actually view what your camera is capable of capturing. So I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Imaging Ambassador and I'll put some links in the information below so you can go out for further information on this impressive BenQ SW321C monitor.